Hello everybody, welcome back. We are going to take a quick look at the Banyu Defender today, which is the second Banyu ship in Star Citizen, and actually the first Banyu combat vessel, the first Banyu fighter we get in game. The goal of the Defender is to act mostly as an escort vessel, as a protector of the Banyu trader vessels like the Merchantman, something that we can understand very easily from its name. Its goal is not to be an aggressive force, an aggressive vessel, but to protect the very viable trading vessels of the Banyu. And not only the Banyu of course, since the Defender was created for human pilots, so you can have a couple defenders around your trading vessel if you want to protect them, if you want some extra safety until you reach your destination. The first thing you are going to notice about the Defender is its very unique style, its very unique design and especially the jewel shaped cockpit. After all the Defender is a combination of different, many different technologies from many different races of the Star Citizen universe. For example the base of the design is Banyu but the engines are Cyan and its shields are Tevarin in order to offer greater protection. As for the stats of this very unique Banyu vessel, it is considered a multi-crew fighter since it has a maximum crew of two persons, its length is at 28 meters and its mass is at 18,000 kilograms. Its cargo capacity is zero and this is because its focus is to protect trading vessels, not to carry cargo itself. What makes the Defender even more interesting as a design is the fact that in the interior of this little fighter there is enough room, there is enough space for small sleeping quarters for the pilot and the co-pilot, but it is also easy for the crew to access the components that they need to repair or replace which are protected, they are shielded behind cascading spinal shutters. Overall the aesthetic of the interior reminds us a lot of the Banyu Merchantman and it is representative of the Banyu culture. As for its weaponry and defenses, it comes, like we have mentioned, with a Tevarin strong shield, which is actually stronger than the shield of most of the fighters in game, especially those of the same size. And to counter this very strong shield, the hull of the Defender is very weak. But this combination of the strong heavy shield and the weak hull allow it to remain light and have better maneuvering, perform better in a dogfight. The fact that the hull is so weak though means that if you lose your shields in a dogfight you are probably not gonna make it alive out of the fight. The Defender has 4 size 3 hard points which are equipped with 4 tachyon cannons on a gimbal mount and this is actually the best combination for the way the ship is built, especially if you have a gunner with you. The pilot will be responsible for maneuvering around during a fight while the gunner using the gimbal weapons will be able to fight against opponents. But of course one only person, one only player will be able to control every system of the defender and fight effectively. It also has missile weaponry since it comes with two size 3 missile hardpoints. As we have seen the engines of the defender are CN and it comes with two primary engines, TR2 engines and 14 maneuvering thrusters that will help it be agile and outmaneuver its opponents. A great difference of the Defender, the model that is created for humans from the model that is created for Banyu, is the fact that the two pilot seats, the pilot and the co-pilot, can take control of every system, of every system in this multi-crew fighter, while in the Banyu model every seat has different tasks, has different roles to perform. It seems like the Defender is going to be a great protection vessel, a great escort vessel for anyone that wants to play as a mercenary and if this is your preferred role in the Star Citizen universe then you should take a look at this sealed fighter, sealed multi-crew fighter. Also the fact that it has a maximum crew of two persons means that you and a friend of yours can take the Defender out and have some fun pursuing your goals and of course enjoying your favorite gameplay. So this was the Banyu Defender, the first Banyu combat vessel we see in Star Citizen, a quite unique design, I quite like how it looks and I think it has some really nice capabilities, offensive and defensive capabilities. I like the fact that it is light and it depends mostly on shields but also the fact that it has 4 size 3 hard points that can bear some quite strong weapons. What do you think of the Banyu Defender? Would you like to have one for yourself or for your fleet protecting your trading vessel? I would love to know. 
Thank you very much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. I am Squid of Love and I will see you around the verse. Bye bye.